Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. We're playing some more Bloom's Tower Defense Battles, and today we've got probably one of my craziest battles ever. Sad thing was, it wasn't recorded live. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on Do Not Disturb so that nobody texts me while I'm doing this thing. And we're gonna go ahead and go over this, alright? So I'm facing Mr. CCCCCCCCC, whatever the heck your name is. Now you can't see this now, but this guy actually had over 2,000 games played, guys. He had like 1,200 wins and maybe 900 losses, something like that. He was a very formidable foe, and I was ready to face him. I was excited about it, and this is what happened. So this is a very, very long match, so I hope that you guys are ready for that. We're looking at about 18 minutes. Um, since I didn't do it live, I am just voice overing over voicing whatever the heck you want to call it over the replay and let's go ahead and jump into this all right so round three you guys know how i always roll if there's water i'm gonna have a sub because subs are by far in my opinion the best early game tower that you can have along with the dart monkey some people like dart monkey personally i like the sub a little bit better because you get that double shot and then you get that freaking three dart blast that just owns everything out there so here's what we're doing we've got our it's it's called airburst darts if you guys are wondering i just call it whatever the heck i want to so we've got two subs right now homeboy on the right mr c c c c c c c c has got a farm all right so this whole time guys we are going to be facing a farmer all right now, it's a different, he's farming, so here's something that I saw, somebody tweeted this at me the other day, I'm just going to kind of talk about this while the gameplay goes on in the background, someone tweeted at me and they were like, Molt, what you're doing is increasing eco, eco stands for economy, for those of you that are new and don't know that, eco stands for economy, they're like, Molt, yes, you are creating economy, you are creating eco, but so is Mr. CCCC. he's creating eco as well, his is just coming from a different source, which is true. So his economy right now is solely based off of his banana farm. My economy right now is solely based off of the balloons that I am sending him. Okay, So both of us are creating economy. He's just farming, and I'm, I don't know, whatever the heck you want to call it. So we're at 362 economy right now, every six seconds. It's really cool. So his economy is measured differently because he gets 250 base every six seconds. And then I don't think that he gets a banana every six seconds, whatever it may be. So there's 60 right there for him. There's 60 right there. There's 60 right there. Wow, so he's actually making an okay amount of money. So he's got one sub still. He's got a wizard down there. He's got two banana farms. I've got two subs and a wizard. We're at round eight. Oh, my gosh. So many more rounds to go. Can't wait to do this with you guys. So much fun. Guys, you know what? I'm going to ask you something. Are you enjoying balloons? Are you enjoying BTD battles? Because I'll be honest. I feel like I'm so much more enthusiastic with this than other games. I'm more myself with this game because I'm playing against uh, people live, and I know that you can do that in Clash and other games like that as well, but it's really cool, especially when I play with Nick, Nick at Night, Teaspoon Beach, you know who he is, especially when I play with him because I get to play directly with my friends. I get to challenge my friends. Now, right now, I'm not challenging my friend. I'm challenging Mr. CCCC, whatever the heck his name is, and we're going after him. But Balloons is, I don't know why, it's just so much fun for me. I love this game, and if you guys love me playing it, let me know down below with a comment, a like, whatever form you want to go around. doesn't really matter to me. Just let me know that you guys are enjoying the Bloons videos, because I promise you, they're not going anywhere. I play this game so much. You guys can see that every single time that I open the game and do a live attack, and you're like, what the heck? He's already up to 600 games played. He was just at 500 games played two hours ago. I mean, probably not that drastic, but that's what I'm doing. I'm playing a lot. So right now, we've got our wizard, and he has got his lightning. Or I, I always say wizard. I'm sorry. Monkey apprentice. He's a wizard. I'm going to call him a wizard because he's a wizard. He's also an apprentice. Whatever. We've got our ninja monkey. We've got our sub. And we've also got $487 in economy. We're around 17, generally by about round 24 or so, I will try and get uh, my eco up to 1,000. Oh, BTW, by the way, someone tweeted at me and was like, Molt, don't you get camo around 12? 
And I was dumb and said, no, it's at 13. I don't know why I said it was at 13. Clearly, there was something going on with my mind. But yes, you get camo at round 12. You get region at round 8. And then uh, you can send your first Moab at round 19, I do believe. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't click down any further, so we can't see this for sure. But I'm pretty sure that it's round 19. So, here's the thing. Um, the way that I play... Uh, and sometimes it changes because a lot of times people will rush me at like round uh, 13 or round 12. Uh, something along those lines with region rainbows, whatever the heck they want to do. And it's frustrating because my personal play style is going late game. I love going late game. I like challenging people to building towers and defending what you build instead of rushing you early game. Now, sometimes that's fun, okay? And yes, I do. I do it. Especially one of my favorite things is when somebody rushes me, I use my my battle energy, defend it, sell all of my towers, (laughs) and then go after them and send them with a rush and beat them. That's pretty rewarding, I'll be honest. But it's also rewarding going up to like round 40, round 40 plus, in the 30s, you got a whole bunch of towers. That's fun for me. I really, really do enjoy that. That's my game style. So a lot of times, I'll lose a bunch of matches because I'm building for late game. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not spreading out. I'm not doing any, anything like that. I'm building for late game. I'm not building for early game uh, protectiveness. Now, when it comes to round 8 and it comes around 12 and it comes around 19, I am wary and I do try and pay attention. And a lot of times... People won't attack, okay? But they also do attack sometimes, and it's pretty frustrating. But right now, round 22, guys. Eco, 829. Like I said, I try to get to around 1,000 by round 24. Don't know why. No specific reason for round 24. That's just generally what I'm looking at. When I see 23, I'm like, all right, crap. I got to start doing this. But right now, uh, we've got a lot of balloons coming in. I'm a little bit worried. We've got our sub. We've got three ninja monkeys. We've got one balloon jitsu. We've got one with the flash bomb. And then we've got one that is slowly upgrading as well. Round 23, guys. 924 eco. CCC, CCC, whatever the heck his name is, is actually sending balloons my way, even though he has three banana plantations. Bruh, leave me alone, man. Quit getting your eco up along with your plantation. So there we go, round 23, guys. We're over a 1,000 eco. I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling really, really good. This is what I like to see. We're only seven minutes in, so that means we are half... We're, we're not even halfway through with the epicness that is about to come, guys. You literally have no idea how crazy this round gets. So, I you first of all, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a little preview of what's to come. I upgrade to something that I've never upgraded before. I get my eco up to a level that it's never been to before, and I get the furthest that I've ever been facing another player before uh, besides Nick. Nick and I got pretty far one time because we were kind of working together on it, but with a live multiplayer battle, this is one of the furthest games that I've ever had. So, Here we go. Round 25. Almost 1,200 eco. We've got two flashbang ninjas. We've got our wizard with just lightning. That's all. I know I said wizard again. Monkey apprentice, whatever the heck you want to call it. And we've got two subs down there. We're going to keep on building up subs, guys. That's where my money is going to go at this point. I'm going to get air burst. I'm going to get advanced intel. And I'm going to work up towards ballistic missile. Now, as you can see, the final right tier of the submarine is $20,000. I don't have $20,000 to spend on that. I'm making $1,000 every six seconds. So whatever six times 20 is, I'm not I'm not gonna do the math right now. I know that it's probably fairly easy. It's, what is it, 120? So a minute and a half about, no, two minutes. So two minutes, I could get all that. Whatever, I'm not doing math right now. Stop it, I'm not doing math. <laughs> Anyways, we've got four subs, all of which have ballistic missiles. Now, round 27, we're starting to get the Moabs. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna try and defend as best as possible. We've got a couple of our subs on strong. Guys, here's a little tip for you, okay? You don't wanna have everything focused on first. I don't think that that's smart. That could just be my personal opinion, but I don't think that it's smart. One thing that I do 
is the higher the higher damage dealing towers like the subs because they have the ballistic missiles they can do a lot of damage to ceramics they can do a lot of damage to lead i put the majority of them on strong because that way they can pop the hard balloons and then the other towers can take out all the little ones right right also when it comes to your flashbang ninjas if it's around the time when you're getting a lot of lead then you're gonna want to put them on strong as well because um, once you can start getting lead sent towards you, you're gonna want to use that to stop them. Also, let's look over Mr. CCC things. CCC's base, he's got two banana factories. Two banana factories. He's making 900 every time he clicks on one of those things, buddy. That's a lot of money. I'm jealous, my dude. I'm jealous at how much money you're making. He's making like. 3,000 every second. I'm at 1,600. Not every second, every six seconds. So we're at 1,600. We've got our subs. We've got a lot of flashbang ninjas. I'm going to go ahead and start spamming these blacks, guys. I'm going after it. Uh, I was like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm going to go higher than I've ever gone when it comes to eco. I'm going to use all my energy. I've got a lot. I've got seven left. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to keep on using my energy, and I'm going to get my eco up a ridiculous amount. We're going to go ahead and use our sub right here, get another one. We've already got six. This is going to be our seventh sub, and we're going to be able to upgrade it max right off the bat. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. No problem whatsoever. It's not max. It's almost max. We're going to get another one. We're going to keep building these subs. If there's this much water, I'm going to fill it with submarines because submarines are clutch. If you guys don't use subs and you haven't upgraded them, do it. A lot of you guys are new to the channel because of balloons. A lot of my old subscribers are new to balloons, but you're old to the channel, whatever the heck you want to say. You've been to the channel. You've been on the channel for a long time. If you are new to this, if you got a lot of water, use subs. A lot of people use buccaneers. I'm not that big of a fan of buccaneers. I am more of a fan of submarines. So that's what we're rolling with. Guys, look at this. We're at 1,900 eco. We're getting up to 2,000 real quick. Real quick. Real quick. <laughs> you know that Drake song. So we're over 2,000 right there. Around 33. Look at this. We can just spam the black. I'm just spamming the black balloons, which are $6 each. We're at 2,100. About to be at 2,200 right there continuing to spam because we're making so much money. Here come the first BFBs that we've seen all game, round 33. So round 33, guys, is when you're going to get the first BFBs from the game itself. I'm going to go ahead and throw out a couple ninjas, get them up to Bloon Jitsu just so they can start doing a lot of work. Put him on strong. You can see that going on in the bottom of the screen. Got to throw down another one. One, two, three. All straight to Bloon Jitsu practically because the fact that we're making 2220 money every six seconds when it comes to eco so that's pretty clutch we're looking at this we're gonna go and use our battle energy and i'm thinking to myself all right i touched the screen right there i'm like how much time do we have left holy crap we've got five more minutes that's right guys five more minutes of epicness our enemy right now has got three fire wizards one oh, oh look at that one fully max phoenix wizard one max what the heck is it called i don't know what the fully max tornado uh wizard is um something tempest tempest something and he's got three balloon factories mr ccc you're making way too much money i'm gonna need you to quit being a sellout <laughs> guys he has so many factories right now and as you can see he's got one submarine that's completely maxed right now i'm trying to fit another sub in there i'm like i see water why the heck can't i fit a submarine there i don't know why but i'm trying to do it i can't fit it so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and upgrade a bunch of my ninjas to sabotage ninjas now the way the sabotage ninjas work is that they slow down the balloons that are coming so you can see on the left side of my screen right next to the ninja i've got that little shuriken that little ninja star that little blade of death that thing right there if i touch that will slow down all the balloons that are coming on the screen so if you got to pay attention to that i've got it four times which really helps out with the cooldown I'm continuing to go up the Bloon Jitsu route here because I cannot place any more submarines. But here's the thing. Eventually, I don't know exactly what point it is, I begin to save up and realize, hey, Molt, 
why don't you go all the way on the submarine on the right tier and get that 20,000 upgrade? So that's what I'm doing. We've got 2220 Eco still. We've actually had that for a while. Nothing's going on really. I'm not too worried about anything. I'm going to start farming that Eco again, guys. Um, this is a great example of natural Eco from sending balloons versus the balloon uh, farms, the banana farms, the banana factories, which is what Mr. CCCC is using. And as you can see, right now, he's got more BFBs on his screen than I do, and he's got more Moabs. So in my opinion right now, the OG style of just sending balloons to make money is beating the max banana factories now he could be saving up for something i don't know what it is he's upgraded three of his submarines to max on that right side tier that's what i'm saving up for right now you can see that i am at i'm almost at 3000 eco guys look at this we're just spamming the black balloons we're at 20 700 2800 right there i'm gonna be a little careful here i'm gonna use uh that sabotage supply lines thing as you can see my balloons are going a lot slower than the balloons are on his side so that's actually a pretty cool upgrade right there boom there we go we've got one max submarine right there i've never gone that route with the sub before we are lagging everything is going crazy we're around 39 we've got almost 3,000 eco we're building up to it right here i'm like let's just freaking do it man let's do it let's get it to 3,000 eco sending the black balloons because at this point they make the most exactly 3,000 eco i'm gonna end it there i'm pretty sure that i end it there i'm not too certain but every six seconds making 3,000 eco let's be honest that's pretty beastly that's pretty beast. Now you can see Mr. CCCC, the guy over here who's played over 2,000 games, his balloons are getting a lot further on his map than they are on mine. My ninjas, with their flashbang and their balloon jitsu and all that kind of stuff, are crushing it. Now you guys might be wondering, Molt, what the heck is up with the lag? Once you get up to this rate, you can't really help the lag whatsoever because you're playing on a mobile device. So... If you ever get up to this high of a round, you're definitely going to deal with lag. It's going to be crazy. you got to figure out a way around it. Mr. CCCC is having a lot of balloons coming. I don't know why he's not using his max ability because he's got four submarines with that max tier on the right side that completely destroy the strongest Moab there. It looks like he just used it right there because one of them popped. We've got so much lag right here. It is ridiculous. I've got 19,000 dollars i gotta upgrade one more of these subs i'm not sure if this is the end or not i don't know why this guy isn't using his uh powers to take out those moabs and those bfbs he needs to be doing that i already did it on my side i'm gonna upgrade another one right there look at that so we've got two he's got four He's got four guys. He's got glue gunners on his side. What the heck is he doing there? He's got Tempest Tornadoes. He's got his uh, his Fire Wizards, his Phoenix Wizards. I haven't seen a single Phoenix come out, which is interesting to me. I'm going to upgrade one of my guys as well up to um, the Fire upgrade now I'm, I'm still slowly getting uh the eco i do think he's making a little bit more than me but that's the end of it guys as you saw right there everything just went through we just crushed him crazy ending thank you so much for watching i know it's a black screen i love you all so much if you're loving the btd battles freaking leave a like on the video you guys rock as always make sure you keep calm and you pop on and i'll see you on the next episode all right peace